Hi guys, as you know, we're here at Inbox Awesome and it has been an awesome day so far. I'm actually sitting here, we've just had some lunch, so <laughs> we might be feeling a little sleepy. Did you, did you enjoy the food they had here? Yeah, I did. Right, for once they actually have great food at an event. I can vouch for that, guys, great food here. So um, I'm actually here next to Alex Volkov. And Alex, you are Russian descent and you're here in New York and you're here with your startup called Zero. Tell us a little bit about Zero. So Zero is a, a new generation email client for uh, iOS right now, and we're expanding into uh, desktop and uh, Android platforms. And the differentiating factors for Zero from many other email clients out there is that we're using artificial intelligence and machine learning to supplement uh, productivity on mobile devices, and particularly with email. And uh, one of the other differentiating factors is that machine learning and artificial intelligence is working directly on the device without sharing the data to third-party servers. So it's private. Very private focused and very private oriented. Interesting. I love this. So tell me, are you a programmer by nature? Like what's your background? How did you get into this world? Um, I have a little bit of technical background in uh, automation, uh, quality assurance, but my background is in business development. I have a technical co-founder who is PhD in computer science and he's leading a Super development. important. Super important to have a technical co-founder, that always Exactly. Helps. Yeah, it's actually the uh, key to any startup success is uh, having a great technology team who can build technology um, for the new age, you know, Absolutely. actually kind of drive it. Absolutely. So there's three co co-founders correct, correct for zero so is it zero.com or how can people find you zero email app is where people can find us uh, zero is the name of the application on the iStore so we're usually one of the top three uh, so if you, you search download it today yeah. download it people so you guys so what stage are you at with your raising where are you at so we are raising a follow-up seed round. Uh, it's not quite a round yet. Uh, so it's basically we look at it as C2, and we've received uh, in investments from uh, multiple angels in uh, Silicon Valley, Bay Area, and we've raised uh, about 150,000 from Acorn Pacific Ventures out of Santa Clara. There you go, guys. Heard it here. So this is awesome. So tell me, did you launch in Russia or did you launch here? Like, what's been the story for you guys? Uh, no, we launched here. We're a US-based startup incorporated in Delaware, and uh, we always been focusing on United States US market. market. Yeah. Yep. US market, but the application is available for anyone to download right. uh, on the iStore. And uh, right now, we are actually uh, going after a business, um, a B2B side. We are, um, I think we have a unique take on our business model because we are going to be offering a uh, white label solution. Uh, to many companies that already uh, have established user base around communication, um, task management, calendar management. So that's where we, I think, we have, uh, that's where we can monetize our product. Right. And there is obviously going to be a supplemental consumer app, and that's pretty much uh, our involvement with, with consumer has been this far, is basically testing our product, getting feedback, finding the market fit, and finding how, uh, what type of features we can uh, monetize in professional space. I love it. And the privacy factor is a big one because we know with all these bots and AI, I know myself, even the iCloud, I get a bit like, where's my information going and what are you guys doing with it? Especially when it's going to like your routines and it's trying to map, you know, you know what you're doing when. So that's super important. So tell me, how did you hear about, there are a ton of conferences, right, every day throughout New York. If you live here in New York, you know. What made you think uh, Inbox Awesome was the one for you? Well, because it has a name Inbox. Yeah, and it does. And, and emails, right? So it's very specific. And even though the, uh, the, the uh, number of topics that are being discussed today are a little bit broader than just Inbox, you know, we've been discussing bots all morning today and uh, how to monetize bot uh, ecosystem and stuff like that. But our, my, my uh, founder actually knew Felix, uh, Felix from... Uh, 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 I, I guess they met previously, and uh, I was on the uh, list. We were trying to get to a conference last year in San Francisco, but we didn't get to it. So we were on the list for this year, and when it get, got organized, we just, you know, it was natural for us to be here. It's a great event, and also Amol, who oversees it, who has no towel. Right. So he spoke this morning. We're going to interview him a little later on today. So that's awesome. And um, what do you think differentiates New York, uh, per se, as a startup, uh, to launch in? 
in as opposed to, I don't know, the West Coast or Berlin or, you know, wherever it is? What do you think kind of sets New York apart kind of in the ecosystem for launching a startup? Um, you know, I'm afraid I wouldn't be um, the person with uh, a lot of knowledge, inside knowledge, uh, to uh, answer that question. I can maybe kind of give a perspective of what I'm hearing from people because this is my first venture. This is uh, my first startup where I'm actually responsible for raising funds, for driving the product and vision uh, of the company with assistance of uh, my co-founders. And uh, from what I'm hearing, it's just um, the diversity of ecosystem, startup ecosystem in uh, Bay Area and San Francisco is uh, is is very uh, large, I guess, uh, compared to uh, a- any other metropolitan area, even New York. So I h- feel and hear that there is a lot of startups in fintech, uh, yes. medical, um, th- that uh, might be actually very successful in New York. Um, but uh, from what I hear on the consumer side, uh, technology side, communication, it pretty much, even if you start in New York, you want to have presence in Silicon Valley because if you're raising you know, money, you know, that's where most of in- investors are. Wow. And you know, that's what I feel for myself too because when I have those types of conversation, um, 85% of uh, the people that I talk to, you know, who help uh, the company on as advisors yes. or who are g- express interest in financing uh, and giving money, they're usually, were, you know, based out of San Francisco. Interesting. Well, thank you for that a very honest uh, intel because it is always good to know. I know New York is kind of catching up very fast, so to speak, Correct. and they're kind of pinpointing it like kind of the second biggest outside of Silicon Valley for VCs and early stage investors but it's always good to know firsthand from the startups what they're experiencing Um, but definitely New York for launch wise maybe you get your funding from Silicon but you can always launch here I think it's a hotbed personally for all that Um, so two final questions both equally important we always like to ask here at Parlay Me is there an entrepreneur and you can mention one of your co-founders or someone in your family um, or a visionary um, that really inspires you uh, that you're like okay that's that's the pinnacle for entrepreneurship for you well I mean there is a lot of uh, great examples I mean uh, Sergey Brin of Google or Elon Musk and uh, the reason for like naming those two off, off the top of my head and I don't want to just strictly say that these are the two that no, are no, you know yes. um, I guess is when uh, people say that something cannot be done or something is enormously uh, difficult to be lifted off the ground and then you see these people doing it proving everyone wrong and being extremely successful to the level of building you know multi billion dollar companies that's a uh, you know that's very inspirational for any entrepreneur that's basically the story that we all pursue and everyone is successful to their own degree i guess success is not always defined by the number of dollars your company makes in the end but you know that's kind of uh, i guess their story and that is very visual absolutely perseverance and the willing to keep going when many people may say no (laughs) you know of course it's the work of all the people that they put together in the team but you know if you you know if you have to quantify that effort yeah that's pretty much where it comes from entrepreneurial spirit I always say Travis Galanick from uh, Uber because for me uh, a true entrepreneur is someone that's a kind of been down and gone back up again, been down and gone back up again, and he's certainly done that. So our final question, which uh, we always ask here at Parlay Me, is are you a blackjack, a roulette, or a poker player? Uh, Poker. Poker, I like it. He likes the strategy, he likes the game. But there is always a little bit of luck, right? (laughs) There's always a little bit of luck. Same with being an entrepreneur, always a little bit of luck. Look, it's such a pleasure to chat with you today. I'm going to put a link, check it out. What is it again for everyone? Zeroapp.com? Zeroapp.email. Dot email. There you go. Oh, I like it. Smart. Such a pleasure. Thank Enjoy the conference. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Sorry you can't get through. Why don't you leave your name and your number and I'll get back to you. Hey, how are you doing? Sorry you can't get 